I want to get to the ex-wife of the man who police say went on a shooting spree in Eugene neighborhood last seriously injuring three people. She is now speaking out. They were only married for a year, but she said it was enough to know that something was off about Carlos Angelo. And KZI 9 News reporter Jessica Babb is live tonight in the studio to tell us why she's not surprised about what happened. Yeah, Matt Renee, Vanya Wheeler says it's sad, but she says while they were married back in the 90s, she was often fearful around Angelo, saying he quickly turned to violence. She says he always carried a gun with him, and she says she just feels lucky nothing like this happened to her. I'm a stun. I'm... I'm shocked. That's how Vanya Wheeler feels after finding out her ex-husband shot three people before killing himself. He was very disturbed. <laughs> Neighbors tell us Angelo was mad. Someone blew leaves onto his property. He could get very mean very fast. Very stubborn and hard-headed. In their marriage, she says it was the simple things that left her feeling frightened. He would get mean over uh, moving something around that wasn't on the right place. Remember how particular he was to the point of OCD, you know, very, um, I, maybe, maybe he had mental illness. Others who knew him echo the same thing. It doesn't surprise me what happened. Very paranoid person. That man who didn't want to be identified says he sold him his grocery store years ago. He says Angelo was so paranoid, he boarded up the drive through and put bars on the windows. But he wasn't a people person, let's put it that way. In fact, Wheeler says he didn't have any friends at all. Neighbors who live near Angelo say he was quiet and took care of his mother. His mom was very nice and she is a religion person and she, um, I, I really worry about her, you know. Hope she's okay. As of tonight, two of the victims are now in stable condition and are recovering. We are still working to figure out how the third person is doing as well. Reporting live in the studio, Jessica Babb, KZI 9 News. Thank you very much, Jessica.